Hello and welcome to the Ridiculously Good VA Show with Tracy Daviero. If you are a virtual assistant or want to be one, this is the place to learn the tips and tricks you need to become a ridiculously good VA. I've been a part of the VA industry since 1998 and I'm excited to get to know you and help you build an amazing business. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of the podcast that teaches you how to be a ridiculously good virtual assistant. Today we're talking about content what you're putting out there to attract clients and get visibility for your VA business. Our quote today is from Leo Burnett, and it's this, make it simple, make it memorable, make it inviting to look at, make it fun to read. Doesn't that just describe like the best kind of content that you see in your travels and in your scrolling? When you're marketing your business, you don't have to become an expert copywriter or graphic artist. That's why we have things like Canva. You just need to be able to talk about what you do and why you're the best person to provide this service for your clients. I think it's a great quote because I think it encompasses everything you need to incorporate into your content. Do you get really stuck when it comes to marketing your virtual assistant business? If you do, don't worry, it's perfectly normal. As administrative professionals, a lot of us, or maybe most of us, were never taught about marketing. So we kind of make things up as we go along, or we YouTube videos and how-tos, or we follow other people's leads, or we throw spaghetti at the wall and just hope something sticks. I have been there. I've done lots of things wrong. So I still get things wrong sometimes. It's not a perfect science for sure. But let's talk about why that is. When we're looking for clients, we can't help but think about making a sale, right? I mean, if we don't make a sale, then we don't have a client and we don't get any money. And the idea behind business, obviously, is that we need sales. So when somebody, maybe a coach like me, tells you to focus on helping people instead of selling, it sounds good, but it still doesn't solve your problem of not having clients. So we revert back to sell, sell, sell. We like to think there's a magic switch that we can flip from zero clients to lots of clients. And there can be, but there are a lot of things that you have to have in place first for that switch to start working the way you want it to. And if you're still struggling to get clients, then you probably just don't have all of the things in place that need to be there. It's probably not you. One of those things is a simple and effective way to promote your service to the clients who need them. What is the goal of our marketing? Not to make a sale, believe it or not, but it's to showcase your expertise to your clients in terms of how you can help them. Let me repeat that. It's to showcase your expertise to your clients in terms of how you can help them. Yes, it's about us. It's a service business. We are selling ourselves, but only in relation to how we can help our clients or not. If you discover that you can't help someone, there's no amount of selling that's going to make sense. Marketing and promotion should satisfy the attention of the person who's going to be making the purchase or spending the money. And those people are your clients. So lots of VAs get marketing wrong. We talk about what we do. We talk about being a VA. We talk about um, helping our clients with everything under the sun and that we have a special on now or that we have a client opening next month and that we save our clients time and money. These are all really generic messages that often do not land with most clients or prospects. So what do they want to know? They want to know how you can help them fix something in their business. It's very simple. They have a problem in their business and they need a solution for it. So you need to focus on being that solution, not being the sale or finding the sale, but actually helping them solve the problem. Here's what I mean, or a few examples for you. If they're overwhelmed by all of their daily tasks, maybe you can help them with project management. If they are too busy handling their customers, requests, communication, money, all that stuff, maybe you can help them with client care or customer service. If they're behind in their books, maybe you can help them with bookkeeping. If they are not posting anything on social media, maybe you can help them get more eyes on their business. 
Does that make sense? You get the idea? That's a, that's a problem and you are providing the solution. Yes, it's your services, but that's what the clients will see. That's what the clients will respond to. They are real problems that your clients have and ones that they definitely need solutions to. It is a really simple issue and they need to understand easily that you can help them with it. And that's where your content comes into everything. If they believe that you can help them do something, then you could have a new client very easily. So how does that come through in our marketing then? It's important to create simple messaging that clearly talks about how you are aware of their issues and let them know that that's how you help your clients. And that means how you can help them. And we also need to become memorable so that they see us often and we start to become top of mind when they're thinking about their problems and looking for a solution. Remember, not everybody is looking to be sold to. Not everybody is looking for a solution in the moment that they are scrolling on social media or attending an event. But you want to be top of mind as soon as somebody makes that decision that now I need help. In terms of your content, this means consistent posting, regular, daily if possible, and solid content topics that your clients relate to. Make it inviting to look at, of course, like Luke says, so it looks good. And don't forget also to make it fun or interesting to read. There's nothing worse than dry, dry content. So you want to bring your personality into it. You want to bring their personality into it. And you want to make sure that it is engaging and fun. Not always funny or anything like that, but I'm, I digress. <laughs> but so choosing the words and images that you use in your marketing is important, but it can also help you stand out because you're going to start to be recognizable. And that's key. Consistent posting or connecting is also going to help you become part of a community as well as part of your client's feed. So sharing a consistent message in your copy and your images also needs to flow over into your conversations and the words you are using to talk to people about your business. So when you're networking, whether that's in a group online or at an event or in a one-to-one -one situation, you want to talk to people about the same types of things that you're posting in your content. What's the theme of those things? How you can help them. It really is simple. It's how you can help them. That's what you want to create content around. And when you're having conversations with people at events or in groups, you're going to handle it exactly the same way as you would in writing. In ne any networking situation, you are marketing your business. Yes, of course, you're getting to know people, but it's still about moving relationships further every time you connect with somebody. So ask questions about what they are having trouble with or what they're looking for help with and answer questions when they post or when they ask in a live situation or a one-to-one -one situation what the issues are that they're having. Answer their questions. When you see there's a problem and you know that you can help, be helpful. That's what all of us business coaches mean. Show up and be there. And always be sure that you're keeping things simple and light. Not to jump to a DM all of a sudden and say, oh, I can help you with that DM me and we'll set up a call. But just give them the information. Give away the whatever it is that you think can help them. And that will be seen as helpful. That will be seen as somebody who is not salesy. And that will be seen as somebody that they can start to trust. Share information, resources, and tips that showcase your problems and how you solve them. And you can do that in your answers to questions as well. So let's get back to the idea of helping people over sales. That's kind of what I'm talking about when we're looking at responding to questions and asking questions and that kind of thing. But the bottom line is the sales will come when your messaging doesn't scream sale. Those posts about being a VA, helping clients with whatever they need, a special on now, a client opening next month and saving them time and money, those posts are falling on deaf ears. So it's also wasting your time because you're spending time creating and posting things that really aren't doing anything for your business. You want to get your messaging right and focus on your clients and what they need and you're going to see a lot better results. It does get easier once you get started. So let's get you started. If you need some help with creating content that works better for you, 
reach out to me at Tracy at yourvamentor.com. I have helped hundreds of VAs through their challenges and I've gotten them on their way to the next thing. I'd love to do the same thing for you. I do private coaching and my new mastermind, The Virtual Circle, is open now. Maybe one of those options is right for you. That's all I've got for you this week. Thank you so much for tuning in to learn to become a ridiculously good virtual assistant. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Ridiculously Good VA Show. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. For more great resources for your VA business, visit my website at yourvamentor.com. I'll see you back here next time.